anesthesia compromises airway, meaning that when you get the smalls of anesthetics or even a full dose anesthetic, you begin to relax and that relaxes the muscles of the neck and also the tongue. So when you're flat on your back or resting on your back and you're beginning to get anesthetics like midazolam, fentanyl, propofol, ketamine, dexmedetomidine, these structures begin to relax and these are structures that maintain your airway open. And so there are ways that we intervene and try to reestablish oxygenation. You have an oral airway, which essentially sits behind the tongue like this, leaving it or lifting it up and relieving the obstruction of the airway uh, so that oxygen can passively get in. You also have a nasal pharyngeal airway, okay, which goes in the nose like this. And again, relieving the, uh, the obstruction because we want to open this up here, which is the main pipe that goes to the lungs. And if that doesn't work, then we can place something like an LMA, which actively lifts the tongue out of the way and has an opening at the base of it to administer that oxygen again to that trachea. Another way that you can get oxygenation is by a breathing tube. The breathing tube is like a straw and it goes in the mouth, behind the tongue and into the trachea to again afford you that oxygen to keep you alive. Be safe.